Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'm really glad you're here. If you're new here, my name is Becca and this is my great wheel. This channel is all about my love for spinning, knitting, weaving, crocheting, sewing, all the fiber things. If you're enjoying this fiber adventure, please consider leaving a like or a comment or subscribing to my channel. I invite you to grab whatever project you have on the go and join me. Let's make some stuff. So today I want to share with you my great spinning wheel. Yes, she is very old. Yes, she is nearly five feet tall. Yes, she is absolutely beautiful and I absolutely adore this spinning wheel. I'm going to share with you the story of how she came to live in my house, um, what it's like to spin with, um, with this kind of a wheel, and some of the special features that this wheel has. I'd also like to share with you what I'm wearing. This shirt is one of several that I have made by hand. Um, it is all stitched by hand, but this is just a button-up shirt. Yes, I did the um, buttonholes by hand as well, and I will um, probably show you in another video uh, some hand stitching if that's an, of interest to you. But this is a shirt that I made. I made several of these um, button-down cotton shirts. Well, one of them is linen, actually. But I made several of these shirts and um, a few years ago, and since then, my weight has drastically changed, and I couldn't wear them for, you know, several months until I finally got around to uh, modifying them. So taking them in a little bit and I think they turned out pretty nice. Wheel has. I don't have a lot of the actual history of this wheel um, because of the way that it came to me um, sort of through an antique dealer. Um, but I am guessing that it is from the latter half of the 19th century, so the 1850s to 1900 era. Um, it is, I believe, all original, although that's hard to, hard to guess. Um, it does have a miner's head, which is a feature that some of the later models had. Um, also something that people would have purchased to upgrade their spinning wheels. This wheel is, it's known by several different names. I call it a great wheel, but it's also known as a walking wheel and you'll see why as soon as we start some spinning. Um, it is essentially a spindle attached to uh, the wheel by a direct drive band. And as you spin the wheel or turn the wheel, this massively different um, ratio of the large wheel to the tiny wheel that's turning the spindle um, means that the spindle will rotate many, many, many times for um, one revolution around the giant wheel. So this is essentially how the great wheel works and all spinning wheels originally worked this way um, rather than the flyer and orifice that came later. Um, this wheel was used for spinning short fibers um, because the spindle spins so fast. Uh, a lot of cotton was spun with a wheel like this, uh, but also a lot of wool as well. Less so flax um, because the fibers are so much longer with flax. Um, sometimes you'll hear the smaller wheels referred to as flax wheels and people would sometimes have a flax wheel and a walking wheel or a great wheel um, to do different jobs. So I believe this is from the, the um, latter half of the 1800s. Uh, it came to me from Florida. I found it on Etsy. Someone was selling it in Florida and they were willing to ship it, which for a, an object, an antique object of this size is not a small task to do. Um, so Florida is halfway across the United States from where I live. 
And so the wheel itself was a very reasonable price, I thought, and then the additional cost of shipping, I could even manage that. Um, it strangely shipped to me on a Greyhound bus, which I've never had happen before. So um, when it arrived in my uh, city, my husband and I had to go and rent a truck from the do-it-yourself um, shop to go drive to the bus depot and pick up this giant package, or actually multiple packages. The um, wheel itself was in a box by itself of the dimensions of the wheel. You can't take this thing apart. Um, the rest of the pieces do come apart, and so they were sort of flat packed. But this, this giant wheel was very lovingly packed. Uh, so that it didn't break on the trip from Florida to where I live. So I purchased this wheel a few years ago and so once I got it I went as many um, as I do with many of the things that I'm trying to learn how to do I went and looked for videos and I have talked about this video um, in some of my previous videos but I have a DVD set called From Wool to Walking with Norman Kennedy and he is a Scottish weaver and fiber artist who um, was the master weaver at Colonial Williamsburg um, and knows all of the old techniques or at least the, the techniques that were used in Scotland and he demonstrated how to use the walking wheel as he calls it um, in this video and I was just completely enthralled um, and and I agree with him a hundred percent that this is one of the most calming and relaxing ways to do spinning. So without further ado, let's do some spinning.
video. Thank you so much for spending some of your creative time with me. I hope you've enjoyed this tour of my great wheel, my walking wheel, and enjoyed the spinning. And I hope to see you again very soon in the next one. Bye!